As a student, you may not have considered that LinkedIn would be a really useful tool for you. However, during university, it's a really good idea for you to set up a LinkedIn profile as that can really help you build connections within your chosen industry and also enhance your job prospects. Here are my five top tips on how to make LinkedIn work for you. Tip number one, pepper your profile with keywords. What I mean by this is about making sure that you have industry relevant keywords in your profile. Employers will be using LinkedIn to search for suitable candidates for their organizations. So if you're including industry specific keywords in your profiles, it's more likely that they're going to find you in a search result. The keywords you use may be relevant to a particular organization or to a specific technique or methodology that is very common within that industry. Or alternatively, it might be some specific technical skills that you've picked up throughout your degree or through your previous work experience. If you're putting these keywords in your search profile, what you are essentially doing is you are enhancing the probability of being found by employers on LinkedIn. Tip number two, putting measurable outcomes on your profile. When you're creating your profile, what you should be doing is making sure that all the outcomes that you are putting on your profile are measurable. Employers really love to see statistics because what that will demonstrate to them is that you can have a similar impact for that organization as you have had previously. That could be an amount of revenue that you've generated for the organization, a percentage by which you've improved processes. It could even be the number of people within your team that you have managed. Whichever one of these that it is, it's great to put those measurements in your profile. As I said earlier, it really demonstrates impact. Tip number three is to focus on posting original content. Examples of original content could include pictures or videos from recent events you've attended, for example, industry networking events. It could also be sharing news articles that are relevant to the industry. Either way, the more you are sharing and the more original it is, the more likely it is that you're going to have people from the industry engaging with your posts. Furthermore, what you should also be doing is engaging with relevant posts as well. So any articles or publications that you see on LinkedIn posted by other people, engage with them, like, on, like them, comment on them, share them, start some conversation so that you can really show that you understand what's happening in the industry. Tip number four is about getting your personal brand right. Personal branding is a phrase that's thrown around quite frequently and the best way to consider what this means is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. One of the ways to ensure that you're getting across your personal brand on LinkedIn is by making sure that the summary or the about section it focuses on exactly what you do. Don't keep things vague, try and be as specific as possible and focus on again using those industry keywords and focus on some of the experiences and skills that you've developed and built up along the way so far. One of the other ways of building up your personal brand and demonstrating that to an employer is through the use of your profile picture. I would always advise you to keep it simple and keep it looking professional. Try not to have too much going on in the background and try not to have group pictures as it can often be difficult for an employer to see which person you are in that group. Here at the University of Queensland, there are a lot of really, really nice backdrops that you can use to keep things simple. For example, you may decide to walk through the Great Court and have a profile picture taken in front of the sandstone buildings. That's an example of a picture that is pretty simple but also comes across as being professional. Top tip number five is all about building up your connections and networking. This is arguably the most important factor when using LinkedIn. The way to go about this is by making sure that you're conducting research on your industry and then ident identifying organizations and individuals within those organizations that you can connect with and engage with and have conversation with. It's very important not just to get in touch with these professionals and ask for a job. Instead, try and find something in common with them. For example, are they also a previous UQ graduate? For example, have they studied the same degree as you previously? Alternatively, do they have the same interests as you or have the same work experience as you? If that's the case and you can find something in common, employers are much more likely going to engage with you. When adding them as connections, it's also really important to add a note as well. A lot of people don't want to receive cold invitations. Instead, put a note in there and explain why you are connecting with them. If they accept, then you can follow up with them again and explain that you're looking just to spend a bit of time to have a conversation with them.
This is going to be the most important thing when trying to build up your network. As 80% of jobs tend not to be advertised and found through who you know, it's also really important to keep in mind that these people you are networking with could be future employers. So there are my five top tips on how to make LinkedIn work for you. What this is going to do is going to help you prepare for the world of work after your studies.